How's everybody doing? Good morning. Get you in here where you can see the audio scope. So we're going to watch from 300 to 3,000 hertz. This is basically the audio floor of the human voice. You see the indicator in blue? That's the active audio that you hear, the transmitted signal. So it's going to track a 700 hertz. So you see he was 3 to 2600. Oh. 823. 823. I had a lot of them come back, but you were on top. That 23 in Alabama, blowing the doors in up here around central New York. 23 in Alabama. 747 said that. So, let me show you how this works. Let's go to where we got some audio. So most of that. So he's transmitting from 380 hertz. And all this is all that you hear. These up here are your voice peaks of the stations you hear. The voices. Uh... Now, as I told you guys yesterday, I'm running in an open mode, so it's not tapped into my actual transmit. It's just picking up the audio output of my and my receiver. I'm waiting on a patch and some. Uh, hardware to do this now I do have a band spectrum that watches frequency and stuff of that nature this is not that guys and a lot of people are getting all confused what in the hell is that 518 or 5180 this is an audio scope this is measuring the Hertz of the audio frequency of your voice so, a CB radio works from about 300 to 3,000, which is where we're monitoring, as you can see, is where we're looking at. The human voice is in that spectrum. The low ends are typically, on an average voice, is around, you know, 400. And your tops, eee! I can easily go to 3K, as you just seen. Eee! over 3k but your normal just run-of-the-mill radio on the air talks about 17 to 2000 on the peaks now if we were monitoring Motormouth Mall right now you would see a big solid signal and real real wide because he covers a big wide span of audio frequency because of what he runs. As you can see, my voice is covering pretty pretty wide through the spectrum. See there. And if I talk through the radio and go on monitor, then it even gets different. Uh, because it's actually hearing the audio of through the audio circuit. Right now, it's only hearing just my voice throughout my vocal cords 
It's not going through any of my audio equipment or nothing. It's just me talking to you. But this is an audio scope. Audio spectrum scope. I can do a lot with it. I can look at or pinpoint the hertz level that I want to look at. I can filter it. I can notch it. But I like to look at it, you know, the whole spectrum, 3 to 3,000. I can go all the way to 10 to 20K. But, you know, you're not going to hear any. You're not going to, you know, the human voices, as I've stated, hears at 3 to 5K or 3 to, to 3,000. So that's where we got it looking at. And as you can see, it's skirting it well. So. Just wanted to clear that up. This is your what you'd use. And then I have a band scope that you can look. For instance, if there, if we were on the band scope, this would be frequency. So this would be like 27 megahertz. And I, this is where we I would be, like 27. 025 if we were on 6 so you would see all the other channels throughout this on this spectrum and then you'd go and move the cursor to that channel and your transmitter would go go right to that channel just like an SDR everything else this is not that this is an audio scope hope that clears it up be blessed